Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about making a Christmas ornament. I made these two my, for my sister, for some friends. And I started thinking, you know, there's really an easier way to do things. And this is one of them. I'm gonna give you a couple of pointers. First of all, I got a Starflake, snow, Snowflake, from text, gifts, or whatever that word is, and wingdings, and there's the Starflake, Snow, uh, where's it at, Snowflake and just take it and just grab it and bring in your page. Now I would immediately, before you do anything, left click, right click and make it a hairline, but then immediately go and convert it to a curve so you can cut it out. And then I'd make you a couple of copies of it because you're gonna use more than one in this project. But I started thinking about people that have trouble with welding and whatever, and I'm working in the center page, so I'm gonna bring in my baby in the center of the page. And then I'm gonna to go to my contour tool, but to contour it, I have to left click, right click to make it a basically a vector file and not a text anymore. And I'm gonna go ahead and make it, convert it to a curve so it's not even a text anymore. And then I'm gonna to go to object or effects, contour. I'm gonna contour the outside a quarter of an inch. And I get that and it's filled it all in. And what's so nice about this now I can see it, I can spread it out because I want some of the baby touching. But in the old ways I used to show to do this is take the virtual segment delete key and delete that. Well, I've got my nudge factor set on four inches. Let's move these out of the way. And instead of welding this, let's use the smart field tool and then nudge that out of the way Nudge that out of the way. And if you will look, I can go left click, right click, and I basically have that welded. Now I can take my outside ring and move it over and look what I've done. I didn't have to virtually segment, delete anything. And then take your text with the smart fill tool and fill that in and nudge it over. Fill the A and nudge it over, fill the Y. And there you have it, it's already welded together uh, might save you a few steps and you can keep doing that even with the snowflake. Let's bring in a snowflake and instead of taking the time, matter of fact, let's get the outer circle out of the way. We don't really need it. I'm gonna nudge it twice. I'm gonna move this snowflake down and then let's bring in the snowflake. Well, the old way to do this would be to smart fill it. And I'm gonna spin it around a little bit so I've got some spaces. Matter of fact, let's make it a little bit smaller because I, I want these pieces visible. So now what we're gonna do is take the smart fill tool again and fill that in. Nudge it over, fill that in, nudge it over, fill that in, nudge it over, fill this in, nudge it over. I'm gonna take my left click, right click, and I'm gonna nudge it over. I've got, whoop, I've got, I don't have to weld anything. I didn't have to cut any lines with the virtual segment delete key. And then we could just take our baby word over and I just use the word baby. It doesn't, you wouldn't use the word baby, but it's for, this is for a baby's first Christmas. It's a little bit simpler way to do things. You might not want to out, have the outline quite that big, but it's it's a you know it's for a young child. Same thing with the name or the put in the year. So let's grab a text, 2019, and I like using whoop, I like using comic stands. Let me, I think I stretched it, and I like this one right here. It looks like a good font. Bring that in. That's a little bit big. Bring it down a little bit. Now, like just like before, I've got a left click, right click it. I'm gonna go up to object and convert it to a curve. I'm gonna go to the contour. And let's contour a little bit less. Let's go 0.1 instead of 0.125. Now I can look 
and I want that nine a little bit more. So I've got my nudge factor now, remember four inches, so 0 0.001, and I'm gonna nudge this down just a little bit. So I've got more meat, you know, in the game. Then I've gotta go to object and break contour apart. <clears throat> Same thing here. Now the old way, and we'll just do it the old way, and it, it still works. You just take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. And then do not forget to do this, smart fill in our numbers. Let's set our nudge factor back to four inches. Nudge that over four inches. Smart fill four, smart fill four, smart fill four. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can cut that out or not cut it out. To cut that out, you just have to go and break curve apart and just take that little section away. You could leave it. I'm going to take out that and take out that little bit. Now, take out this. Don't forget to delete that because that is going to be a hairline. And then just group all your numbers and move them back over. Now, before I would do this, I would smart fill the whole thing because I've got some black outlines. So let's move everything over four inches. And let's use the smart fill tool on the whole thing. And then I'm going to, I'm going to move it up. I'm going to left click, right click. And now all my hairlines are solid and that will cut out. Whoop. Whenever you have the smart fill tool and you touch anything, it fills in everything. But that's how kind of a new way that I just kind of thought of this afternoon saved some people a lot of time in smart filling the, the void objects and making a new object. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.